making money. Hey, gee, damn, fam. I got to turn something down here. I don't know. There we go. I'm going to do there. Tell me if you can hear this background music chat. What up, chat? How we doing? We're about to play some shrapnel. <laughs> Just getting things set up. Um, I have a little, little music going on in the background. Can can you guys hear that? I'm not at my usual setup, so I don't know how exactly things are coming through. Let me know. Sipping on some happy juice. Happy juice vibes. Let's go. Yeah, your background music here, right? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> if you don't hear background music, it does, it's not important. We'll see if you can let me know whenever we get into the game, if you can hear the game. That's actually what I want you to be able to hear more than anything. We're going to be playing shrapnel, though, so I'm um, sorry. Uh, I think I updated the what we're streaming on, on Twitch now, but the title says what we're doing. Um, all right. I think I got everything set up though. For those of you that don't know, Shrapnel is a, how's my audio too, by the way, before I get into things, my, my volume coming through good. I, I don't have my mic or anything. So like, I feel, I feel like under, under prepared, but I, I feel like it's gotta be working right. Audio good. Hell yeah. And, uh, thanks for, thanks for being here chat. What up? What up? Bodak. Anyone in the chat? Who else is in the chat? Play games. Yokes on you. What up, everybody? Yo, yo, Bodak, you playing? You playing right now? How's it going? I know you've been playing. Anyone else in chat been playing? Or did you? Or are you not going to give it another chance, Bodak? I, I enjoyed it when I played. I know it's not where you where we want it to be, but it's all right. Um, anyways, wh before I get into everything, uh, Shrapnel is a FPS extraction shooter game, and they uh, have some Web3 incorporations into it. The skins are NFTs. They have a token, Shrap, S-H-R-A-P, uh, which is what the the prize pool is for this leaderboard that we're looking at right now. Um, so they're, in my opinion, they're doing they're doing some cool stuff and making the right moves as far as starting to integrate Web three tech into a new new game. Uh, I think this is the direction that we are going in, in gaming, and we're going to see more and more of this start to be incorporated into games. So. Um, over time, I have to imagine, I hope, my hope is that we'll get to a point where even like Fortnite skins are NFTs. I, 
I hesitate when I say that because I know that they like their walled gardens and making something in NFT can, um, allows that then to kind of be used wherever. Um, the, the thing with being able to be used wherever is that other games would need to probably build out how that that NFT incorporates into their game um, in, independently right now. But eventually we'll probably get to a point where they don't even have to do that. And, and every NFT just is recognized and shows up and appears the same in every single single gaming universe that we can go play in. But uh, Boat Act, that makes me happy. I'm, I'm glad you're, you're going to give it another shot. I. I have faith in the team, so don't. <laughs> I think it'll. I think it's going to keep getting better and better. We'll see. They said that they fixed. So a couple things I just listened in um, on the. They had a Twitter space or an X space, um, and I was just listening in on that, and they uh, said that they fixed. I don't think it's going to be perfect, but they definitely have fixed. Uh, the mantling, so the issues with jumping over things was um, kind of frustrating. So they fixed that, and um, they're going to continually work on honing in the hit marker box and making sure that shots are registering. Um, so they are aware that that was an issue and are going to keep on fixing that. They they don't they don't push out all the updates at the same time, so. They're working on multiple different things and just pushing a few things that they think are kind of ready to get pushed and they're still tweaking the other things so um, they're working towards getting it to a point where it's super playable for everybody and enjoyable i i am yes era i i am definitely talking a true metaverse and that's what i hope we get to i really really do i don't know it's gonna i think it's gonna be a lot more work than people think um i think there's gonna be a lot of like like this is what i, I worry about like fortnite and stuff is maybe they'll go kind of um take steps forward but not go full full-fledged web 3 because then they'll lose that walled garden effect but maybe my hope is that they realize that they're big enough and they create good enough games that it doesn't matter if they don't have you walled into that garden. You'll still come there because they're going to have some of the best games to play. Um, so I hope that that's what they realize. That's what I see happening anyways. Happy Juice Break. Twix Space. Yeah, exactly. But uh, anyways, the... That was a little little, little metaverse tangent. Uh, love it. GM metaverse. Well, uh, we're going to do the GM metaverse show at 1 p.m. Central time, which is in, in a couple hours. So stay tuned for that and just keep watching me play shrapnel and having fi fun and vibing with me in the chat. Um, that's the plan for today. But um, we're gonna. I don't. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm definitely not like a competitive gamer. So I don't know how well how well we'll do climbing the leaderboard. But why the why the heck not try and see see how let's let's show how the average average FPS gamer does in a Web three leaderboard competition. Because I mean the top prizes are decent. Look at that. 32, 16, 8, 2, one so what was the first one 32 or something what's strap at right now let's go to coin gecko we'll get into the game in in a sec here here y'all i just we gotta do a little housekeeping and knowledge base creating first Sandbox is hovering around 50 cents, which is cool. Um, let's go shrap, shrapnel, 
Sharp one's at 26 cents. So um, let's see, where where do they do? Okay, 32,787. Then you can come down here. I already forgot the number, god damn it. 32,787. 32,787. So first place is $8,730. First place, $8,730. I take that. <laughs> 16393 16393 I think we're going to if we want to have a chance at it we're going to have to play to the meta though and the meta the meta last one was camp which I hate I hate camping but that's kind of the meta cuz the larger drops come at the end and then you can kill people that already have picked up from drops so we got to learn the map. Five US dollars. And third place, 8197. I think that's, yeah, that's strap. So 8197 strap is going to be 2000. So even third place is going to walk away with 2000 bucks for th a 3 day a 3 day leaderboard. It's pretty solid. Let's give it a let's give it a go y'all. What up, Pato? How you doing? GM. How goes it in Canada? Canada, right? I'm not making that up, am I? I feel like you I feel like you talk about that. If you don't, sorry. <laughs> All good. Hell yeah. It's beautiful here. I'm in I'm in like central west west central Wisconsin in a town called La Crosse. And it's been in the 50s the last few days. Blue skies. I went disc golfing yesterday. It's crazy. That's not what winter usually is like here. Usually it's cold and snowy and miserable. <laughs> and like gray skies. So it's feeling good. I, that's why I was like, my, my wife's using the office. So I set up out here in our little patio area. Or it's an indoor patio, I guess. What were you doing in Wisconsin? Going to a Packer game? Um, all right, let me see here. I think we're I think we're pretty solid on this, yeah. We know we're competing in a leaderboard. Let's go. Drinking beer and fishing. That sounds like Wisconsin. <laughs> Love it. It's a good thing to do in Wisconsin. I got to throw that one up on the screen. Drinking beer and fishing. Hell yeah. Not a bad thing to do. Was that in the winter where you drink a beer and ice fishing? That's what I feel like that's what people are probably bummed about around here is that it's not been cold enough to have ice thick enough to ice fish. Madison. Did you go to a football game? Those are wild in Madison. Um, all right, let's, uh, find our good old buddy Epic Games Launcher. For those of you that don't know, Shrapnel is available right through Epic Games. Just go to Epic Games, um, to your Epic Games store, search Shrapnel. 
boom. And it should pull up for you. And then you can just add it to your library, download it. It's free. And then you needed an extraction pack. So if you don't have an extraction pack and you want to do that, let me know in the chat, in the comments, if you're catching a replay. And I can hook you up with one. I got a handful to give away. And uh, shrapnel training exercise two is live February 22nd, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. February 23rd, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And February 24th, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. And that's all times are Pacific time, UTC negative eight. And uh, it's an early access game. So obviously there's gonna be bugs and stuff that goes down, but it's fun that we're actually playing. Uh, and there's enough people to be in a lobby playing together with, with this. So I dig it. It's a good time. And this is a blockchain NFT game. So they have to have that disclaimer apparently. This game supports or includes the use of blockchain, NFT technology, or cryptocurrency. All transactions and related activity payments for in-game purchases, refunds, and customer support are handled by the publisher of this product. Please be advised before purchasing any cryptocurrency or digital assets that players should do their own research. Player purchases through third-party marketplaces are made at their own risk, and Epic Games does not encourage the purchase or sale of any cryptocurrency or digital asset. That's a good, I mean, perfect. If that's all, you, that's 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 what we need, and then you can publish your game to Epic Epic Games. So I'd have that on my game. Start using, start using the tech. It's here. It works. Here with the program, other games. What is shrapnel? Your mission, extract or die trying. In 2038, an immense asteroid collided with the moon, the first Earth fall event. Following the impact, meteorite rings formed around the moon, bombarding Earth along a global 500 kilometer wide band. Now pelted repeatedly. I'm so good at reading. The area is permanently evacuated and designated the sacrifice zone, the zone. Too large for any police force to quarantine, the zone was originally guarded by paramilitary contractors until fragments of the asteroid were found to be valuable for a strange new mineral, compound sigma. Guards became mercenaries, extracting sigma and killing anyone who got in their way. National and corporate entities started to, to militarize. Each mercenary, mercenary extraction force, MEF, is dedicated to extracting as much wealth as possible from the deep, depopulated, highly dangerous sacrifice zone. As an MEF, mercenary extraction force operator, you will compete in battle in this post-cataclysmic future where Sigma has changed the balance of power as we know it. Now, in 2044, the fight rages. Let's go. What up, Fred? Pike bass, catfish. No football. <laughs> Pike bass and catfish. That's perfect, though. All those are fun to catch. How you doing, Fred? We're about to play some shrapnel. I'm reading the overview. I haven't actually read through this. Play, create, own. The creator ecosystem enables players to expose themselves, truly own their game assets, and shape the future look and feel of shrapnel. From call signs and insignia today to skin creation and map design tools tomorrow. I think that's dope. Um, shrapnel empowers players to express their identity, connect with community, connect with community and monetize their game assets. So that's super rad. Uh, I heard that on a space recently uh, that I was listening to the team talk on and they, they definitely are planning on allowing um, users, players to create skins, 
and also to uh, use tools to do map design and like set up different different types of games. So like you could like set up like a capture the flag or uh, seek and destroy or um, team a team death match, like any of the fucking games that that uh, that you know and love from all your different all the different FPS, Modern Warfare. Call of Duty, uh, Halo, all that, all that stuff you get set up in in this kind of ecosystem, uh, which I think is super rad. I'm very similar to like um, what Fortnite's doing with their uh, what is it called the UE UEGC or whatever. <laughs> I don't know the user. It's user generated con generated content. I forget what their the engine is or what they call it, um, but. Fortnite's doing it. Shrapnel is going to allow you to create your own games and using their their engine, basically. Um, so super cool. I'm excited because as as this FPS gets better and better, like the FPS, FPS mechanics in this game, um, the, that's like what I want to create is like FPS games that people can compete in um, and host. Like you can host like your own tournaments in like these maps that you create and it'll be rad we're gonna do that <laughs> so keep following along stay tuned once we can create our own maps it's on i because i feel like we're gonna be able to do that way faster than in the sandbox as far as a shooter goes as far as an enjoyable like this style shooter goes so i got my fingers crossed the team's gonna come up with some cool tools for us to use to create maps and and game modes. Uh, what do we got here? Discover. Explore the unique creations on the Shrapnel Marketplace for inspiration or purchasing. Curate and recommend your favorite player-made items to share in the community distributions of Shrap. Today, you'll find players, insignias, and call signs on Discord and Twitter. And the Shrapnel Marketplace is coming soon. I made a call sign. I don't know. I remember. I wonder if you can... Hmm. Should we go to the Shrapnel website? I don't know what the Shrapnel website is. Let's go to Shrapnel. A. Those are the, the that sums up my morning. Fred and Fred's message on the screen. GM, let's go. And we got a link up here. This is what I'm looking for. Epic Games. Da, da, da. I want to sign in. I feel like I should do this over here just because I'm going to sign in. Hopefully, this works. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. We're good. So now let's go to my accounts. No. <laughs> this isn't even. I mean, it's me, but why didn't it sign in? Whatever. I'm going to just show you. Boom. Stay logged in. Log in. Logging you in. Oh. Duh. Inventory is what I was looking for. 
So this is this is what I unlocked in the last one. I got a, a yellow jacket. It looks like a, I think it's a skin for this gun. Yeah, weapon skin. What else we got? Can we scroll through things? No. Um, navigation on this page is weird. There we go. <laughs> My items right in the middle. I feel like a back arrow would be great there. And then, yeah, they said you got badges. So we got two badges here. Session. So we, so we complete, I think it's because we completed two of the missions. There, I think there was four. I feel like I should have got the Sigma extraction one too, but one of my extractions failed. Crimson Edge Elite, that's dope. And Happy Holidays, the Candied Skull. <laughs> All right. And then we got one of each of these extraction extraction people. Let's go. Now now let's play. Did we work we worked all the way through this? Yeah. Show less. Let's play. I'm pumped. This is fun. I had fun last time. Hopefully the lobbies are popping. And hopefully the meta has changed from camping. I feel like it's still going to be camping though. Look at that. Craft logged in. You can go to your account just by clicking on that. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's see what the missions are. It'll be cool when these are in the game too. 1.1 missions. Okay, so we can get a play one session. We're gonna get a pistol. So these, so yeah, so these are the badges. So we only got two of them last time. We're gonna get a pistol skin, play five sessions. We're gonna get another shoddy skin. And if we extract 200 Sigma, we'll get this red skin for the machine gun. And 10 kills gets you that one. Okay, let's go. Let's get 10 kills. I'm done. 10 kills, 200 Sigma. 10 kills, 200 Sigma. All right. Y'all ready? Wait, let's look at the leaderboard too. Y'all gonna wrap, rack up a lot of crafter bucks today if you tune in for a while. This is an eight hour shift I gotta put in. <laughs> we'll see if we play the whole time, but I'll probably play close. As long as it keeps on keeps on being fun. Hundred thousand K prize pool. Extract as much Sigma as possible during each XTX section session. Top Sigma extractor will say 100,000 bucks. Woody, we got the leaderboard rolling. Woody's on the leaderboard with 800. These guys are getting in. Let's get in there. Let's go. Let's see how good how 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 much realistically a average FPS gamer I feel like average is 
might be <laughs> might be below average. We'll see how my skill set has come along. I was doing okay last last session, so we'll see. We'll see how an I will say average gamer can climb the a leaderboard of a crypto FPS tournament in 2024. <laughs> Survive, collect, extract. That's the mission. I got to remember to use my Sigma. Uh-oh. All right, We're, it's on. We're doing the thing. Oh, I didn't try to double click or anything. Did they change that? I know that the, it kind of sounded like they liked. I'm not quite sure, are those med pins or what are those? All right, let's get out of this death trap. Somebody could be right above us, staring at us, waiting for us. Ayo. Yeah, you can't double click or anything. That's kind of just practicing there. So you can you can sprint and then hold C and you kind of like dive. Ooh, he mantled. They said they fixed that. I forget I forget that you also have health or energy. So you can't just sprint forever. Oh shit. <laughs> Get dead. Come on. I got to move more while I'm, while I'm getting shot at. What up, Luigi? Yo, Bart. I feel like I was all over his head. 45% vitals. Get good. All right, let's go. It's on. Let's get back in there. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Happy juice for happy gamers. My wife started drinking this happy juice stuff. It's so fucking good. Tastes good. It's got a good like energy. There's nootropics in it. Lutin, lutin, lutin. Actually. Mantlin. Uh... 
There's somebody. Seek shelter immediately. Wonder where that guy went. We got chirping going on. Where was that chirping at? The the direction that the noise comes from is hard to tell. That is helpful. <laughs> All right, the trip and stopped. Right now, we're just waiting for that's that way. Too bad, like, I feel like the meta really is to camp out and really play safe in the beginning. All right, now we got some extraction spots or shrapnel spots, I mean. We are mantling better, for sure. Take that so nobody else can get it. <laughs> it's always my strategy. All right, that's 140 away i think we're gonna wait wait it out i wish i i gotta learn this map better could use some more ammo Extraction available right now. I 
I heard something said on on a tw the Twitter space that after there's three people, once there's three people left, something new, like something triggers to like in the game, basically. See, it sounds like it's coming from the right side right now. Or straight ahead. There might be some killing going on at the extraction spot. Let's wait for this next drop. That's 121 meters. No one's going for it. That might also be where some chirping's coming from. I feel like we could get an extraction to hit right by us, though. Or a, a shrapnel. There's a dead person. Oh, he got me. <laughs> what up, Nath, man? I cannot hit him. I feel like I want to speed up my... Let's see if I can do that. Um, controls. We have the mouse sensitivity all the way up. Can we get more, please? Why can't I... Let's try it like there. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help. I'm just also not, like I said, average at best, average at best game, FPS gamer. But it's so fun. Why is it so fun? Nobody knows. Let's go. How you doing, Nazman? Luigi Bart or Bort? Bart or Bort? My eyes are bad. All right, here we go. We got three pins. That's good. Because chances are we're going to get shot. I did hear that um, one of the team members said that they they like that you have to drag and drop the the items because it's more like actually having to loot and like make decisions about what you want instead of just like double clicking everything because <laughs> it does like put you at risk. 
So you have to decide if it's worth worth looting around. I always like to find both weapons. <laughs> Somebody's already dead. All right. That might be like a planted body too. There, I, I have noticed a few of that. And sometimes they have shrapnel on their backpack, which is cool. Ooh. Okay. It's, I, I did hit that button. I didn't mean to, but it was actually a pretty good mantle up on top of that. I thought I heard footsteps. But I feel like your footsteps echo, so sometimes you hear your own footsteps. <laughs> that could just be me. Ooh, there's a body. Let's go. We got a Sigma canister. I don't know if that means we have Sigma or we can just get Sigma. We'll just have that be a jackpot box for somebody if they find it. All right, that one's pretty close. We'll think about it. Let's go down here. Three grenades. We're going to go for this. Come on. Come on. Jeez.
All right, we got some sigma. Where to next? Where to next? Let's wait and see. I hate that you have to like wait around so much. I feel like that <laughs> is not my style at all, but I feel like that's the way to play. It's very much like a survival game. 95. Let's see if we see any movement. Two minutes to last extraction. All right. We're going to go for it. Shit. Come on. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Hundred and hundred and ten or hundred and eighteen, can't tell. All right. Now we gotta get to the extraction. Which is where it's gonna get dicey. So ways away. What? It was like, I had at least 45 seconds. Lame. That's disappointing. <laughs> I was about to get a hundred and hundred and ten sigma. Rage. That's all right though. We got it on camera. All right, let's go in again. Just gotta keep going. Let's get some kills. Should I, That's what I'm going to do this game. I'm just going to go try and get kills. We'll we'll try we'll try an aggro. Aggro meta. Hmm. 
Here we go. Anyone else playing? Or just watching? Let's go. Let's get starting chest. <laughs> Movement blur. That would be cool if we could turn it off, but I doubt that for right now. Here's some chirping. Do you guys hear the game chat? Is that audio coming through? Somebody moving around. Got him. God damn it. <laughs> There we go. All right. There's a kill. No sound from game. Bummer. Oh yeah, I forgot to give you a little nuts. <laughs> Desecrate the dead. That's how Clank Crafter plays. If you ain't teabagging, you ain't trying. I thought I saw movement over there. Damn it. Oh, well, I did at least hit him. <laughs> I like shotties much better, at least in this current state. Jeez. 
Chewy, Chewy BR1, GG. What's the leaderboard looking like now? One thousand four hundred and forty-four decky. Tata -ta M. <laughs> All right, deploy. Let's keep it cooking. Got about 45 more minutes until I'll do our GM Metaverse episode. Give you some rundown on Web3 gaming news and current events and a little just Web3 in general. And then we'll play some more shrapnel. After that. We got a big, uh, big builder battle coming up. Cyber Dragon versus Game Dizzy. I think this is where we started. <laughs> Cyber Dragon versus Game Dizzy. Med Pen. This is the zone that is already textured and everything. So they. They've left it mostly untextured, but this area actually does have some little glitchy going on right now. Oh yeah, quite glitchy, but this is what the extraction or the shrapnel shard areas will look like. Which I think I think it's pretty sick. Easily ran out of that. I feel like I was getting hung up on one of them at one point. Not that one, at least not there. Run in, get some strap, run out. That's the strategy anyways. What do we got? 135 away. Some weird glitchy stuff going on right now in the game. Are you guys seeing that chat? I think we're good with ammo for right now. Is there any shrapnel out there? Nope, looks like it's been extracted. Or whatever. 
what do we call that? Gathered? Gathering? Gathering Sigma? Realistically, you could also just be playing, like, not right now, but once the game gets further developed, you could just be playing to get in, extract some good weapons, and get out. So then you could bring good weapons in. Because whenever you die, at least in a lot of extraction shooters, whenever you die, you leave everything that you had there. Damn it. <laughs> That's so bad. So bad. He was forty five percent. The Demian. The Demian. GG. Got a hot headshot with a shoddy, which is always the goal, <laughs> in my opinion. I want to use a Sigma ability. I haven't used one yet. But, oh, what I was saying, I think I got distracted by the game. If you go to my profile. Um, this. <laughs> Builder battle coming up. Go check it out. Share it, like it, comment on it. Appreciate y'all. I think we started. <laughs> All right. Boom. Loot, loot, loot. Good, good, good. Met. Come on. Should we go extract? How is he still alive? <laughs> God damn it. No, I did not hear him come up. He must have been sneaking. Door fanboy. GG. But yeah, Builder Battle. Hosting with Outer Studios. Cyber Dragon versus Game Dizzy. 
Check it out Saturday, 8 a.m. Central Time. Let's go. That's going to be a fun one. Are we already back in? Not quite. All right. Wow, that's a loaded one. Okay, let's start. Hmm. Hmm. Where'd he go? Where's the chirping coming from? It's dark right now. All right, we need something on the map so we know where people are going to be moving to. The body seems like it's always there. It must be. So we got an extraction zone over there. When's our next shrapnel storm gonna happen? Can we go in here? All right, if we crawl. I don't know what those are. All right, five. Where is that at? Uh, 
Ooh, that's close. How do we get out of here? Come on, come on, come on. I feel like I heard someone moving around. Get it. All right. That's really far away. That's not the last one, I don't think. Seek shelter immediately. Some chirping going on. Last extraction coming in two minutes. It's 57 meters. That's perfect. Do I go get that? Or is it too dangerous? Come on. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can get out with this. <laughs> I have to go out this way. How do we get to it? Shit. Ooh. 
the fuck is it? <laughs> is it up there? How do you get up there? Why does it say I failed the extract? I still had a minute. Well, that's a lame times two. Wonder why it keeps ending fast. Bummer, bummer. Oh, well. Get it. Let's get it. We like the blue scope personally, but any will do. Let's try and find a shot. A. Eh? Speaking of blue scopes, there we go. Moving around has actually been pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what that is. Somebody got that shrapnel already. Is a shot a sounded like we had some gunfire over here. Let's actually put this on there. Actually, I want that. All right, what's the next mission in here? Let's get a new thing, new objective. So we can get some idea of where everyone's gonna be going. More grenades. OK. 
Okay. There we go. Hundred and forty seven meters away. Okay. I like this area. It's like almost parkour. -y. That spot is so far away. Where is this guy? Show your face. There he is. Why can't I get him? Heal up, heal up. Did I get him? Where'd he go? How did I not hit him? Damn it, damn it, damn it. I got head 14. Okay, I was hitting him. Just, I gotta get closer. Yeah, maybe there is only one, one, you can only have one person extract at the end. I feel like multiple people can though. Later, Nazman. Have fun at the, den at the dentist as much as you can. <laughs> that doesn't sound super fun at all. It could it definitely potentially could be what you said, Fred, though. That maybe if someone takes the extraction before you do, it's a good guess. 
So we got to work on getting closer to the extraction point. That's the last one. Let's see if that works. Maybe that's what's happening is somebody's camping it and then getting out. We'll see. One last one and then we'll do GM Metaverse and then we'll probably play a little bit more. Seek shelter. I'm bummed you guys can't hear the audio. I gotta figure that out. It said you would be able to. All right, let's go find a guy. All right, should we work towards that shrimp? Why not? Loot along the way. Somebody's been here. Sometimes it feels like I get hung up on the, the loot box. I don't know for sure though. We're working our way there. No one's taken it yet. Now somebody has. Was that that noise? Not that you guys can hear it, unfortunately. That's a good mantle. It's a long ways away.
Oh, there's somebody. Where'd he go? No, I was switching to grenade. God damn it. Good job, other person. Swiffle. Bow, bow. All right, let's go ahead and. All right, we're gonna go. Can you guys, anyone listening right now, did you now start to hear the music of the background, the background music of the game? Or still no? Now I turned it up a lot more. I guess I could just check. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it, which is a bummer. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it, Ooh. which is a bummer. Yeah, All right. I'll try and troubleshoot it in a second. Let me go here. It says it's sending the screen audio. I'm going to check again. Right. Doesn't seem like it, though. Bummer. Get with it, StreamYard. Mm. All right. Either way, we'll see if we can get it to come back. I'll try connecting it again. Um, but for right now, we are going to quit the desktop so we don't have it going on in my ears. Boom. And then we are going to
bring these. Over here. And boom. And it looks like there is an ad running, so we'll wait for that to get done. If you're watching on Twitch and not subscribed, you're probably watching the ad. And it looks like we're back. Welcome back if you're watching an ad. If you don't want to watch ads and you want to watch on Twitch, you can subscribe and you won't get those ads. But um, otherwise, you could also, if you want to do it, the free route, go to YouTube or Twitter right now. And I'm streaming there as well where you could watch, but uh, being here on Twitch is how you, you earn the crafter bucks that you can then use to enter giveaways and also to redeem for metaverse wearables that we'll be releasing once we get them finished up. So, and get some catalysts. But yeah, welcome back. I am going to segue over to GM Metaverse real quick, which is my daily show Monday through Friday. I guess I could pull that up too. GM Metaverse, Web3 Gaming, news and updates, Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Central Time, which is three minutes away, but we're going to get started right now. So welcome back to another episode of GM Metaverse, where we dive into Web3 Gaming news and updates and bring you all the latest and greatest current events that are going on inside of the Web3 Gaming world. Today, we're going to be starting off with, if you're tuning in live, you already know we've been playing it for the last two hours, but Shrapnel, we are playing, climbing, well, not we're not even climbing the leaderboard because we still have, <laughs> have yet to extract some, some Sigma, but um, we are participating and playing the limited release of their SDX 1.1 testing playthrough that is open for the next three days, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And it is a lot of fun. It's still, I feel like it's hard to shoot people, but maybe I just suck. <laughs> but either way, uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing. So um, if you think you could be competitive and better than me, you could try and climb the the leaderboard and the top top uh, thousand i think are going to get rewarded with uh shrap which is shrapnel's crypto token that they'll use for in-game stuff i believe so definitely definitely worth checking out if you haven't checked out shrapnel yet if you're watching live you know we're playing it now we'll be playing it after this Geo Metaverse segment gets done as well for a little bit longer. And then I'm going to, well, actually, I might end up just going straight to straight to lunch after this. And then then we might come back a little bit later and play a little bit more or else we'll for sure play a little bit tomorrow as well. I'm going to play a little bit each day and uh, just have some fun. Bring you guys, bring you guys some of the some of the action. And uh, thank you for tuning in. But moving on, we uh, we got Gigas, and Gigas announced this creators code. Um, if you haven't seen it, links are in the description. If you're watching on YouTube, and they are in my Discord. If you're watching on Twitch or Twitter, just get in my Discord, and I will have the links in there for you. Um, but Basically, what we got going on is they want um, Geekus and the Sandbox want 
everyone to bring them and submit to them their games that they've built. So if you have any games that you've worked on in the past uh, that you think are fun and you want to submit them into this, they'll be paying anywhere from 100 to 200 sand per game that you submit. So you can submit multiple games. And um, if they qualify, there's whenever, if you, if you go to this tweet and then go down to the creator's code form, um, the, they have all the all the rules laid out. I can show you. Let's we'll show you the rules. Um, so, create an experience based on the following minimum evaluation criteria. So it needs to have two game loops, and at least one good quality asset needs to be present in the game. And your experience will also be evaluated based on responsive gameplay, creativity, and replayability. Um, but if you meet all those criteria, you can sit, submit as many games as you want and earn 100 to 200 sand per uh, game, depending on a few different factors. But um, definitely worth doing. And if, if they find any games that they think are uh, beyond exceptional or <laughs> much, much, they stick out and they're much, um, the, much the games that the sandbox would like to see published on the map to attract other gamers to come play those games. They may offer to host those on their land and publicize it a little bit more for you and um, do all that fun stuff. So I think it's a great opportunity if you do have any games to submit those. They, it says down here kind of all the, well, obviously all the stuff you need to submit. Um, if you do end up submitting, um, go ahead and use my name, Crafter, um, for how, how did he hear about this program? And then uh, he also says to put crafter in the brackets in front of your experience name um, so that I get credit for um, telling you about it and get a little reward as well, apparently. So that's super cool. Um, but I think it's a great, a great thing for you. Anyone that has any games laying around that they want to submit to go ahead and submit the, um, here's some FAQs, payouts, bronze tier, 100 sand per experience submitted. Once a user has three submissions approved, they'll be upgraded to silver tier. Silver tier is 150 sand per experience submitted. And once a user has five submissions approved, they'll be upgraded to the gold tier. And then the gold tier, you'll get 200 sand per experience submitted. And gold tier users will also be eligible to receive an official TSB physical merch bundle. So that's, that's super cool. Um, basically just rewarding you for games that you've already built or are almost done building. Or if you want, you can build one from scratch right now and start start working on climbing climbing these tiers and getting getting paid in sand um, and possibly getting them featured. And if they if they think they're like super high caliber, they will most likely give you more than just sand. They might give you land instead of publishing it on one of their lands. Maybe they'll give you some land or who knows what they'll do, but they do kind of allude to doing more for games that are super high caliber. So worth worth checking out. And then you see all the additional terms, the time frame, the time frame for payment. Uh, please allow time for us to review your submissions up to at least two weeks, but possibly even more. If your experience is approved, an email will be sent to you and payment will be sent 30 days from the approval of your experience. And then they go over the evaluation criteria and personal information collection and terms and conditions. The one term and condition that stuck out and I think might be the only one is that they can use um, your the game and like the video video of the game and stuff whenever they want in their marketing, which is totally fine. That just gives you more exposure um, so that people can see see your game. So um, if you want to participate in this, definitely, definitely check it out. Check out the tweet um, from Geekus. He explains it in the video that's in this tweet, and then the form is also right in there in the replies. So go check that out. Boom, boom, boom. And then this is also an exciting one that I've seen people um, being happy with is that the analytics tab is now available for everyone. So you don't have to get it was 161 plays before you got access to the to the 
um, analytics now. You can immediately get analytics as soon as anyone plays your game. So maybe not immediately. It might lag a little bit behind, but you know what I mean? So definitely go and um, check out your analytics tab if you're building in the sandbox and have any games published. That's about it for that. Um, easy peasy, but super exciting. They listen to feedback. So always don't be shy with your feedback for the sandbox or, or any, any project that you're working with. Like uh, they should be responsive and at least, um, take your, your feedback in and evaluate it. You never know. Sometimes what the people want is what, what you should do. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it doesn't make sense as a business, but sometimes it definitely does. Moving on, we got Fred and Fur dropping knowledge bombs over on his Twitter. So if you're not following him on Twitter, make sure you go follow him at Fred and Ferd over on Twitter. But if he's got, he's going to be dropping, it seems to be great knowledge bombs about the builders challenge and what you can be doing and little tips and tricks and stuff. So with this one, he says, when working on a multiplayer map, use MP collectibles if you want to talk with the rules and only one person will be able to collect before it disappears. Use single player collectibles to talk with quests and let everyone collect their own whenever they want. Um, so great tip and something that, funny enough, we came across it. Maybe maybe this inspired um, the tweet. I have no idea. Um, we came across this on my Sandbox stream on on Tuesday and we were trying to trying to identify how the different the multiplayer versus single player worked and we were we were pretty spot on we had no idea and I didn't bring it up about how the multiplayer can talk with the rules and the single player um talks with the quests like that's that's good insight too um so thanks thanks for that knowledge about Fred and Ferd um, and if you aren't already definitely go follow them Fred and Ferd on Twitter Next on, next on the list. So this has been a long awaited update about the other side and I've seen uh, plenty of mixed reviews flowing through the timeline, um, but definitely go read through the other side update if you haven't already. I haven't dug into it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a deep dive right here right now, uh, but it's, Sounds like they're, um, I think I, actually, I don't know if I have the tweet. All right, we'll dive into it just a little bit. It's, there's, there's a section that stuck out that they, a lot of people have been pointing out. And basically, a lot of apes and others are kind of upset that they're shying away from this MMO. Here we go. Keeping things clear. I think it's important to take a beat and also clarify what we are not doing for now on other side. We are not making a competitive MMO that takes many years, many tens of millions of dollars and has enormous risks. There are AAA game companies that have their thousands of employees working on these and other projects and that red ocean isn't one we want to swim in. We also recognize that building a system in which anyone can jump into our code base and or build a complex game on the platform is a multi-year daunting proposition. However, we are going to enable users to take advantage of character and environment customization and engage in UGC this year. So they are working towards UGC, but um, maybe not quite to the extent that a, a lot of the um, users and um, players that were looking forward to checking it out um, were expecting. Further, we are going to enable users to customize casual games, and we have a path to build a system empowering trusted developers to develop games for the other side. Um, so users will be able to do casual games, and then they may also empower other trusted developers to build actual more in-depth games. So that's kind of cool, but kind of not what we we're expecting at the same time. Um, this means you could eventually get a game built. We're trying this out with one developer now to launch our first game last later this year. While we are building these UGC and similar tools, what we are really hearing from the community is a strong desire to have more meaningful social interactions. 
people want to connect, share, flex, and have fun as a community. So we are going to deep. So we are going deep in evolving a social platform to enable our communities to have new ways to engage with other, with each other. We are going to start trying it out with you all together during the coming months, starting with Apes Come Home. So, I mean, basically they're saying it's not exactly like it's not going to be as MMO-ish as people were expecting, because I think a lot of people, whenever the all the other um, games and stuff started coming out, Legends of the Mara um, and all the, the lore within other deeds and everything, they're expecting this huge MMO style game kind of I think they're hoping for kind of like a Warcraft maybe in a way um, on top of where there would be UGC content um, so a mix of both but now they're just saying that there will be some UGC and they're going to do some game gamified stuff themselves but I think it's just going to be kind of a slow steady steady build is what it kind of seems like so maybe one day it'll get to that MMO level but they're not going to do it fast um, by any means at least that's my interpretation But go ahead and read through that yourself and see what see what see what you determine. It's linked below. We also got Garga announcing that he's coming back as CEO of Yuga Labs. Um, if you are interested at all about what's going on with Yuga Labs and Board Ape Yacht Club, go read this. Uh, it's a it's a good it's a good read through. Um, and just kind of opens your eyes to what's going on within Yuga and specifically they speak about what they're planning for Board Ape Yacht Club. So um, they're trying to get back to their roots. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully they do it. I feel like they've strayed, strayed a lot, but it is what it is. They can always rebound and bounce back. I've seen them do crazy things in the past. So go read through that if you're interested. We're not going to deep dive into that. And then I also saw Jonah. Um, I don't always agree with everything Jonah says and um, think he's engagement farming a lot of time. So you probably shouldn't agree or <laughs> just take with a grain of salt what he says a lot of times on social media. Um, but um, he did seem to kind of open the the idea factory for people to think about when he s said this and i think it was pretty pretty good so open offer to yuga labs my vast client nifty island has all of the creator tools you are talking about in your letter with the game already released what i suggest is turn other side meta into a launcher like portal coin keep building your other side but also invest in new games like nifty Mandate that avatars you already made must work and use ApeCoin in those games. And honestly, I feel like that all makes a whole whole heck of a lot of sense um, that that could be a strategy that they go. It kind of sucks, though, that they go that strategy because then they're just like turning into the the company that's going to be controlling their interoperable metaverse. But it's not going to be like unless they seem i don't know maybe they'll maybe they'll work towards this eventually after they buy a few um like nifty and then so they acquire nifty and start using those tools in their game and, and and kind of expanding it past nifty but also having nifty be its own thing i don't know it'll be interesting to see how it plays out especially if if they do kind of go down this route which i i definitely could see potentially happening i don't know it's hard. i'm not that business savvy as far as knowing if it would be a great great idea for you to do but i don't know seems like potentially who knows go check it out think for yourself <laughs> and then uh last but not least on the list for today we got um if you have a crocodile steve hat you can actually go and test out and play the um Trouble Down Under game that Rufu and his team have been working on, really, or really um, putting a lot of effort into this over the last few years. So um, if you haven't seen my episode with Rufu on Metaverse Spotlight, that just got released, I believe, on um, YouTube not too long ago. So it shouldn't be too hard to find that over on my, my YouTube channel. And yeah. 
they they got trouble that under, which is going to be um, an, in, an endless runner, I think is what you call it. And uh, just a fun, different kind of game that I haven't seen on the sandbox yet. So go check it out. Have some fun. If you don't have a Crocodile Steve hat, you could go buy it on the marketplace or you could um, just wait until Monday. And then Monday, they're going to be opening it up to everyone. So um, either way, you should definitely play the game. If you want to check it out early, though, go get a Crocodile Steve hat. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for for tuning in. Um, we did kind of a pre-show, two hours of streaming Shrapnel, which was super fun. And then it wrapped it up with our regularly scheduled broadcast of GM Metaverse. And um, again, I do... I do Geo Metaverse Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Central Time. So if you are uh, around at 1 p.m. Central Time, you can catch the live recording on YouTube X or Twitch. And uh, if you miss it, you can catch the replays on YouTube and Twitter slash X. Um, you can also catch the replays on Twitch if you subscribe, but you could get them for free the other places. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here and see you guys later. Let me know in the chat if there's anyone I should raid. And then I'll probably come back on a little bit later today. We'll see. Um, but yeah. Let's chat with y'all later. Peace.